Welcome back to my channel. We are back with some more Dot Hack GU Volume 2. We recently sold some worthless crap. Made some money. Not that we need money. But in case we do need it for something. We'll have it. And we currently have 88,000. What you have? Don't we need that right now? I'll get something later on. Oh, spin ribs, fifty-one. Ooh. What is my current weapon? Some weapon types deal more or less against certain enemies. This is called affinity. Attack an enemy with a weapon it is weak against to increase, okay? You can now change your allies equipment use Oh I sold my sword. Whoops. Oh well. I'll get another one, who cares? That is probably worth the trade. What will you take? I'll take one of those. Wait, dang, okay. I mean, I will get more. I can always buy more. Um, I'm not going to give you that. This, this is not. You know what? You don't really need these at all. <coughs> yeah, and take a devil because it's pointless to me. Get ripped off, scrub. <laughs> and now I want to do a six. Now we're moving on. Um, let's go browse. I might, might as well buy another sword. Because, yes. As if there is one that I can actually... Do you have one? No. Nah, I'll just buy one, it's easier. I'll get one eventually, that's better, but I'll just buy one. Because I made a boo-boo. And it's fine, who cares? Yeah, I'll get one that's better eventually. Actually. I thought I could equip two. Guess not. Oh well. It's a weaker sword, but I don't care. I'll get one that's better later on. Who cares? It's just a temporary. Can't log out, it's fair. I need to ask around my canoe. Okay, I have to go in here. Actually. Ha <laughs> ha.
Now for spam. How do I increase that, I wonder? Huh, I don't know. I forgot. Yeah, okay, now I need to go back. Oh, Central District, okay. Disturbance over here. Wonder if there's any new quests. I doubt it. Nope. Hey, what's going on here? Why can't I log out? Is this some kind of event or someone's bad joke? Can you tell me what's happening? You're some kind of admin guy, right? Please, calm down. We are working hard to... How do you expect us to calm down? What are you going to do about this? Uh, I'm terribly sorry. Please, just try to be patient for a while. So, that guy in the blue suit is an admin. Looks like even CC Corp doesn't have a very good handle on the situation. A short mail. Yada's calling me. Let's head back to Raven's Serpent of Lore. Why can't I log out of here? Come on, speak up, will ya? Damn it, damn it! Where am I? What is this place? Why am I actually inside the game? So it seems that humans who lack morals both online and offline say the very same things after all. Well, it seems that you only act strong when facing those weaker than you. Pitiful. If you're that scared, run back to Kestrel with your tail between your legs. <laughs> As reported, it looks like those from Kestrel are stirring more panic in the people. Everyone, go support the town's order. We must not let them panic. Understood. Natalie. I was so worried about you. Are you okay? I'm sorry, Sakaki. What's wrong? I can't seem to hear you. You see? Ever since you were killed by a bugged monster, you've been unable to speak? Yes. I know it's kind of hard to believe. Oh no, I believe it. You're not one to tell a lie. Sakaki. I'm sure you know this, but all players are currently unable to log out from the game. In fact, they have lost sight of their very selves. <coughs> it's almost as if their minds have been absorbed into the heart of the world itself. That's right, a game. But at the same time, it's also a reality all its own, Adelie. At any rate, we must stop the players from panicking. You will help us, won't you? Yes! Good girl. Well then. So Mr. Sakaki's the only one you can rely on after all, huh? <laughs> So it's you, Terror of Death. It appears there are only enemies to be found in your world. Adelie, why are you here? I thought I told you to stay at the at home. I'm sorry. I thought I should contact Sakaki and... Listen to me. This isn't something Moontree can do anything about. 
I see. Are you saying that you can solve this situation? With a lot more certainty than you can. <laughs> What's so funny? Conceit. Don't you agree that it is the lust for power that is most certain to make fools out of people? Terror of death. What do you mean by that? I mean exactly what I said. Adelie. <laughs> yes! I will see you later. isn't a problem that Moon Tree can solve. But even so... I don't understand. I just don't understand you, Haseo! The situation is much more serious than we thought. Let us summarize for a moment. Ever since the Ida phenomenon occurred while searching for Atali, no one has been able to log out of the game. Furthermore, none of the players have been able to return to their real-world selves and their real lives. And no new players have been able to log into the game. Communications with the outside receive no reply. Some of the players have panicked to the point where they're starting to get violent. It seems that the system admins can't contain these players any longer. Yes. The system admins themselves are just as confused. Right now, their real selves are... At this point, we're no different than the Lost Ones. It is quite obvious that the reason for this abnormality is Ida. If we ever want to return to the real world again, it is imperative that we investigate Ida as quickly as possible. And one more thing. Let me tell you something important. Something important? Now that her epitaph has been stolen, Adelie's PC data is starting to degenerate. <gasps> degenerate? What is he talking about? I'm sorry. But why didn't you tell us? That's enough. Isn't it obvious? She didn't want us to worry about her. <sighs> Yada, in this world our minds aren't residing in our bodies, but in our player characters, right? 
That is merely speculation, but in this case, it would seem to be the most likely explanation for what we are experiencing. So this is a world where our minds and characters are linked together. So what will happen if Fadali's character data is lost while she's in this world? There is a distinct possibility that her own consciousness will be lost as well. <laughs> what? You've got to be kidding me! What should we do? How can we cure her of this? Is your head just for decoration? You should try thinking before you make a big fuss. <laughs> Master Yada, do we know anything else? This too is only a guess, but it seems that this place is not really the world as we thought. It is a false world that Ida has created by copying the data off of CC Corp servers. I believe that the world we are currently inside of is such a place. So then, this is some kind of a mirror server. That's one way to put it. Patali, at one time you had the power to distinguish Ida's sound from all others. Ida's sound? Come to think of it, didn't you say something like that when we found Indy Glut Lou? Uh, well... If you mean hearing strange sounds and seeing bug-like things, I've had that happen a number of times. Have you heard that sound after being placed in your present condition? No, I haven't. I thought so. It all makes sense. It would seem that the data Ida stole from her is... You don't mean... the young girl's Morgana Factor? Morgana Factor? What's that? Master Yada! It's alright to tell him all about it now. The Morgana Factor is the specialized data that makes Epitaph users unique. Epitaph users are special characters created by CC Corp for use during certain projects. Thus, Epitaph user PCs have data inside them that is not found inside regular PCs. That's the Morgana Factor, usually called Epitaphs. So the reason that we can use avatars is because we have that Morgana Factor? I, I mean Epitaphs? That's right. Hence, Epitaph users. CC Corp wants to mass-produce Epitaph users. You mean as a defense against Ida? Yes, but thanks to strong protection protocols, we've been unable to adequately analyze them. We still don't know exactly what the Morgana Factor is. Thanks to that, not only can't we mass-produce, we can't even make a copy of it. So why not just bring the creator in on it? He should be able to take care of that without a problem. As far as we know, the Morgana Factor was not created by any one person. Well then, how did you get a hold of him in the first place? We managed to salvage it from the dark abyss of this world. The abyss of this world? Each of the Morgana Factors has its own name and identity. In my case, the name of my avatar is Tarvos, the epitaph of the Avenger. My avatar's name is Magus, the epitaph of the Propagation. As for Aseo, his avatar goes by the name of Scathe. He is the epitaph of the Terror of Death. The Terror of Death. It's an odd coincidence that it's the same as your PKK nickname. Even with Magus's The Propagation, we can't repair the Morgana Factor. Thus, now that she has lost her Epitaph user abilities, Adelie can no longer hear Ida's sound. Maybe that's also part of the reason why Adelie lost her voice. Yada, what can we do to help her? There are no alternatives but to try to recover her Morgana Factor from Ida. However... What? It will be difficult to trace Ida precisely, now that we are no longer on the actual CC Corp server. Fortunately for us, this Ida server is far from being perfect. 
This world contains seams in the structure. The fact that we can save our data is proof of that. That means... Yes. All we have to do is find them. It seems to me that at this point, our only acceptable option is to infiltrate the Ida areas and conduct a thorough search. Infiltrate? You mean with just us? There's no way we could possibly cover all the Ida areas between just the few of us. This is an emergency. We will reach out and ask other players for help. That's pretty impressive, coming from someone as secretive as you. Haseo, I believe you had a relationship with those at Moon Tree. You should go and ask them for help. Moon Tree? Do you think there's a chance that they would really listen to me? Moon Tree would never abandon someone in trouble. That's what Sataki always said. That Moon Tree is there to help save people. Huh. I will go and contact Zalkova myself. Hi. I want you to go with Haseo and help with his negotiations. Yes, Master Yada. Uh, what about me? Adelie, you will stay here. Huh? But... If news of that arm were to spread beyond this group, it would only make things worse. Okay. Off to Moon Tree Headquarters. Don't forget, the area words are Delta setting Eternity's Night Moon. I'll be back. Okay, I'll be waiting at the Chaos Gate. There's really no point in me coming back, so I'm just gonna stay muted. I'm sure you realize this, but we didn't come here to fight. Yeah, yeah. I'll handle the negotiations, so just act appropriately and try to get on their good side. Besides, it seems that for whatever reason, Zelkova has taken a liking to you. I bid you welcome. Haseo, welcome! Have you had the chance to read the email from our guildmaster? His name is Master Yada. Yep, we sure did. Every word. Good. Then I would like to discuss the investigation of this system abnormality. You're beating around the bush. Why not try telling us directly what it is you want? I don't know what you mean. <laughs> perhaps this will clarify things. I'm saying that perhaps you should consider bowing down and gracefully begging us to help you with your desire to escape from the Ida server. Members of GU, You, Raven, that is, GU members, are conducting an investigation of Ida, are you not? <gasps> Some secret. <laughs> Mr. Sakaki, I... 
I'm quite surprised by... I was... I was not aware that anything like that was going on. I'm sorry. I felt I should keep it to myself until I was able to confirm it, as it was uncertain information. However, it would appear that it was not far off the mark. <laughs> now, now, this is no time to be fighting each other. Although our positions may be quite different, our intentions are the same. Am I wrong? <sighs> there is no falsehood in my devotion to Moon Tree. All right, let's cooperate with Haseo and his friends. After all, we do have to escape from here eventually. Good. Then we shall follow your directions. Naturally, we have no intention of making GU public, rest assured. Thank you. So, what exactly is it that you would like us to do? Currently, the place in which we are all trapped is not within a CC Corp server. You must try to think of it as if someone sent us all to a mirror server and then isolated it. So then, that would be the Ida server. Our objective is to find the many seams which exist inside this Ida server. Seams? Yes. We would like you to help us find phenomena that would normally be impossible to find in the world. A data irregularity. In other words, you'd like us to find a bug. That's right. Very well. We'll take our units, split up, and search the different areas. All right. I've got to do my best for Master Sakaki! Don't go out of your way just to get Master Sakaki's attention! Do you people get that?! Whoa, whoa! Getting a little scary there, pansies. Well, Sakaki has decided to cooperate with you. No need to worry about a thing. I'll help you out. I may as well do some work myself. Everyone, don't forget to report in regularly, all right? Now, let's be off. Very well, if you'll excuse us. All right, see you later, Haseo. Bye! <sighs> But how... how does he know about... about Ida and G.U.? Hey, at least we didn't have to spend a lot of time explaining. Honestly, do you realize the significance of this? Orders from Master Yada. Although it's not certain, an area with faint Ida signals has been found. We'll meet up with Kuhn and conduct a thorough investigation of Delta Galloping Subtle Desert. It's been nothing but cutscenes. I'm gonna go ahead and put a save and then put a cut in the video and I will catch you guys next time. Have a good day.